Sunshines, welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. I am so glad you're here. Y'all buckle up, prepare to have your socks knocked off and your mind blown. At least that's what's happened to me because I have another Decor Steals Steal It box. I have their spring summer box to share with you. And I do not know what kind of David Copperfield Houdini magic they work for this box, but it's very similar to a Mary Poppins carpet bag. You know, in the movie Mary Poppins where she pulls out an entire coat rack out of her little tiny carpet bag? Well, that's what happens in this box. And oops, they've done it again. So if you haven't seen some of my past Decor Steals boxes, the fall box, we got an entire table, a table. Uh, in the Christmas box, we got a huge lighted Christmas tree. In the winter box, we got a gorgeous two-piece black window pane mirror. Absolutely stunning. And not to mention there's six other items in addition to those in each box. Now I have to say this is the biggest decor sales box I think I've ever seen them do. Let me just give you a little peek. It's not going to even fit. Well, maybe I can get it in the camera. Look at that. This is amazing and I love the magnolias all over it. I think you're going to see a little hint to magnolias in the box. So let's talk about the box for just a minute. As usual, you're going to have seven items inside. It is $124.99. There is no discount for this box. Decor Seals works really, really hard to get the box as low as they possibly can. When you see the value of this box, I refer to knocking your socks off just wait, you're definitely gonna see the value. Now this particular box is not a subscription box. So if you get it, you're not on the hook or obligated to get any other decor steals box. It's a one-time box. Also, there's very, very limited quantities left. I'm not sure this box is gonna make it through the weekend. So if after watching this video, you decide you want it, you might wanna run over there and grab it. I'm gonna have the link down below. It is a referral link which helps support the channel. So if you click on it, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I think that is all the basics. Now we got to get into the box. When you open it, and just for reference, I got, went ahead and opened the box and took everything out because usually there is a little construction with this one. Hence, the construction in this box took about seven minutes. Super, super easy. When you open the box, there is a little envelope that says, hello there. And then inside, you're going to have two cards. They always do a fun card that you can put in a frame. I think in the I think it was the December 2022 box. We got this really beautiful gold frame with glass that kind of looked like a picture was floating in it. You could put this in here and it says, the good old days are still to come, which I think is a really great way to look at the time that you're living in now because in 20 years, when we look back, we're probably going to think, oh, I have something on my sweater there. We're probably going to think those were the good old days, right? So enjoy them. And I love that. So put it on your vanity, put it on like your refrigerator, put it in a frame, whatever you wanna do. And then it's double-sided. So it's got the same saying on it, but with little hanging baskets of greenery. So I always get a little card, which I appreciate. And then this has a QR code. Make sure that you scan this when you get your box because it's going to give you a ton of styling information. Some of you, I think styling and decorating are gonna come really naturally. To me, I have to work at it a little bit. I like to have pictures. I like to look on Pinterest. And so this is gonna give you a little extra inspiration for each of your items. And then inside, you're also going to get your booklet. We'll go there real, real quick. <laughs> it gives you kind of their ideas for colors that you can use with the things inside as well as a few more styling tips. It's a thick book. So make sure you're looking at that too. All right, I'm gonna give you one more peek at this gorgeous Magnolia box. And then I'm going to grab the pieces. All right, so the first item in the box is that little nod to the Magnolias that we saw printed on the box. It is this gorgeous 23 inch magnolia wreath now when you pull this out of the box all the leaves are kind of pushed inside so you have to frew it a little bit they bend really really easily what i love about this is if you've ever touched magnolia leaves you know they're really really thick and these are very thick they're pretty and i like the way you see some of the white on them like they've been weathered out in the yard i grew up in florida we had tons of magnolia trees i just love them I think that you can use magnolias year round. I think magnolias mixed in with Christmas greenery 
Chef's Kiss Beautiful. You could put a bow on this. Like I said, you can do some red berries or something around the holidays. But if you're like, mm, I'm not sure that I like the wreath, Decor Seals has thought it out. You can turn this around. There's a couple little twisty pieces that you can take off and this transforms from a 23 inch wreath to a six foot garland. Now I think the idea of putting this like over a hood over your stove would be so beautiful, but if you wanted to open it and use the garland maybe across uh, your, your mantle or on your island, I also think, oh my goodness, that black mirror, if you got the winter box, that black two-piece window pane mirror, this would be so pretty hung in the front of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna leave mine as a wreath. Really, really stunning. Um, all right, let's talk about the next piece. I've been kind of looking at trends for home decor just a little bit, which is something I haven't ever done before, but I'm starting to get a little more interested and I'm noticing there's a lot of fruits and vegetables. Now there's always lemons, I feel like in the spring and summer, but this piece looks like a piece that you kind of wandered through an antique store or maybe through a garden shop and found like a little hidden gem. It is this artichoke statue. It's got this modern elegance, this sophistication, but I think whether your house is farmhouse, more modern or rustic, you can work around this piece. It would be beautiful sitting on some antique books. It would be gorgeous on an entryway or bookshelves if you've got bookshelves on either side of your TV. It adds a lot of texture and artichokes symbolize joy and hope. And it's heavy, but not too heavy. Like you're not like lugging it around. Decor Seals also did us right again. They made sure there was little feet on the bottom so it's not gonna scratch any of your furniture. It's just the right size. I don't know, there's something about it that makes me smile because it's got the like white through it. It just looks a little distressed, a little aged. I don't know, this piece has a lot of character. I find it to be very, very charming. What I got again is this rustic pot. I've been seeing a lot of urn-like things in the forecast for being hot for spring and summer. And this is very on trend too. To me, it looks rustic, but there's a part of it that looks like it just came out of a kiln of a potter's wheel and they've fired it. Isn't it pretty? It is not heavy. It looks like a really heavy wrought iron pot, but it's not. The big moss balls, have you guys seen them? They're big balls of moss. Those would be gorgeous sticking out of here. I think on an island or on a kitchen table with lemons, the bright lemons or even oranges, that bright color with the dark pot would be a really pretty contrast. Maybe add a couple of leaves. That would be really pretty. I saw another YouTuber take this pot. She took some floral foam. I thought this was brilliant. Put it in the bottom, took some tapered candles and kind of um, made little holes in the floral foam. So the candles, the tapered candles set up, there was like six of them. And then she put reindeer moss around it. So you've got the reindeer moss and the tall tapered candles. It looked great in her entryway on the end of a table. I would have never thought to do that. I love people who have that like vision, don't you? But I love this. And I think again, you know, if you had shelves, these tie in really well together. And again, with that black mirror from the winter box, if you were able to score that. If not, there's lots of black mirrors out there. So I thought these were beautiful. Are you blown away yet? Because just wait, it keeps getting better. I'm gonna put this down. The next thing we got, and again, another thing that I'm seeing over the past couple of years in decor is really interesting shapes. I have to say I squealed a little bit when I saw this. It is this candelabra. It actually comes in two pieces, so you just screw the bottom into the top. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's little legs are really interesting. And then it's got the two candles. Again, you could put this on a stack of books. I think it'd be pretty on a dining room table mixed with that uh, Magnolia garland. Isn't it pretty? It looks like it was hand forged. Obviously, I'm sure it's not. It does have um, some weight to it. And again, it's got the feet. Oh, that little bowl had feet on it too, just FYI. I like the little details that Decor Steels make sure all of their pieces have. This has got some weight to it too. It's really beautiful. I will say if you get this box, I had to have my husband help me get it up the stairs because it is very, very heavy. Okay, the next thing we got I think would be so 
beautiful on a gallery wall. And it's that beautiful saying that's so charming. The good old days are still to come. I like that it's cut out. I think that adds a little bit to it. So if you've got a gallery wall, it would absolutely be stunning. I really like the idea of putting this um, at my back door. I have kind of a command center there as you're walking into your house at the back door, something like that. I don't know if you can see the uh, words coming through, but trust me, it says the good old days are still to come and it's got the little places where you can screw it in. Now this one doesn't come with the screws, but I kind of like that because depending on what hardware you wanna use through your house and what color, that's a pretty standard little hole there. Okay, the sixth item that we got, if you know me, you know I'm excited about this, is this gorgeous pine wood board. You can use this as a charcuterie. It is um, treated with food grade oil. So you can put food on here if you want. It's got this great rope hanger. So you could definitely hang this on a wall. I actually have one of these hanging on a little skinny wall in my kitchen and then I have a wreath put over it. So something as simple as that can add to decor, but I do think in the middle of your dining room table with maybe that black pot with a pot of lemons um, and maybe a tall like maybe olive or lemon tree next to it would be a simple decor that you could do on an island. Um, of course, you can use it as a charcuterie. I think even in the summer, if you're doing picnics outside, you could do like, you know, your cups. We're not, we don't stand on pretense over here. I usually have a red solo cup full of my like forks and knives and things, your napkins or all of your condiments for a picnic. There's so many ways that you can use this in decor for actual for your food. Now, if you're gonna use it for food, I would also get some little food grade mineral oil or whatever and just kind of treat it after you use it every couple of times. I really like the, the dark wood or the light wood mixed with the dark black pieces. It's just a really good and interesting dimension and texture. Okay, are you ready for the last piece? The last piece is what I had to build and we're gonna get up. I'm gonna move you over and show you the magical Houdini piece in the box. Bench, I stuck it up on the bed just so you could see it just a little bit better. Holy cow, an entire bench. It comes in three parts, the legs on either side, the base and then the cushion. There's two screws per side of the leg. So a total of eight screws and the screws have a little Allen wrench. So literally about seven minutes to put it together. I love the detail of the rope here. I think it just adds a lot of texture and dimension. Another thing they thought through is the cushion actually has Velcro straps. So you can un-Velcro those and wrap it around your bench. Like if you have little kids or you just need it to be more secure. I think I like it without the straps. I would just tuck them in a little bit further. But if you're not a fan of the straps, you can actually take this off, have the bench, and then this makes a floor pillow, which I think is really brilliant. There's a use for every single item. So I think at the end of a bed, it would be absolutely stunning. I think you could do this under a window and make like a faux little you know, book nook or reading section. I think add a little pillow on this side with a blanket and you're good to go. I cannot believe we got an entire bench. Do you see what I mean about a Mary Poppins moment? Okay, so there it is in all its glory. It might be a little weird that I put it on top of the bed, but I wanted you to kind of see its size. I have a queen bed. In my opinion, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's like Goldilocks, it's just right. Um, there's so many things you can do with it. I do have a guest bedroom with a lighter bed so it would be beautiful in front of that bed I think like I said earlier if you've got a window and you've got a little wall space that needs something you could tuck it into that window and use it with a, a beautiful decor pillow maybe a throw it would be pretty there I personally think that I'm going to use it at my back door as I go out into the garage like before it's like in my sunroom there's a wall there that I've never really 
fully known what to do with and I've been playing with the idea of it being a command center. So I think the bench on that wall with maybe a couple of baskets with like reusable bags, maybe my umbrella, maybe a pair of slippers so I can slip them on as I come in the house. And then, you know, a place for my keys and stuff. I think it will be absolutely perfect. You can truly move it around anywhere. It's not too heavy. Um, I think a lot of the weight came from the bowls and the artichokes and things. It is substantial though, in terms of being able to sit on it. I have a feeling it's going to be my cat's favorite thing. But again, I like they thought through the details with that one in terms of you can take the cushion off if you want and leave it blank and use it as a floor pillow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, they've blown my socks off. They have blown my mind. <laughs> And I'm so excited to share this. So if you want to get it, do not hesitate because there's not many left. I'll leave my discount code down below. Please consider hitting that subscription button. I would love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.